we'll walk you through some of the Hoffa Farm. This is a 155 acre parcel here. And out of 155, there's actually 125 acres that's actually in production. And out of 125 acres, that is um, subdivided among 16 farmers. When we started Hoffa, um, we discovered that there was a lot of um, disparities between Hmong farmers and mainstream farmers. Not knowing the English language well enough uh, to get themselves into the workforce or not having the background, the knowledge um, to successfully build a career out of that. And so what they do is they resorted to farming. Uh, this is a practice that they know and has been passed on from generation to generation here. Hmong farmers were only selling at the farmer's market. They weren't able to sell at other markets, so uh, they were very isolated in where, where they could sell. And also, they didn't have access to any of the training or the research because most of that training and that research was done in English. This out here, the outdoor, is more situated for farmer's market washing produce. We have a designated area for our indoor washing, and this is goes towards concert, institutional buyers, Minneapolis Public Schools, Lund, Bon Appetit. So everything, all the washing occurs in the indoor wash station. We also added a cold storage facility. The Hava Farmer is going to be a benefit not only for the Hmong farmers on the land, but it's also going to greatly benefit the community because uh, we know that when you support a local businesses, you can get anywhere from $2 to even $10 of additional revenues that's multiplying or growing in the community. If people come together, great things can happen. And I think that response could be the antidote to the challenges of the financial struggles of being a small farmer.